How are you doing? Welcome to the Bragg Show, live from Lake Wiley, South Carolina. All about using real estate to be rich and generous. We have we have screens all over the place right now. It's freaking me out a little we, bit. We do. Look. Look right here. <laughs> Can you see that? There's you. That's because that's because <laughs> uh, this is partner program week. We have students in the office. We do. Right now. And they're uh, they're in the room right behind us and they are working their business. They're getting their marketing going. They're setting up their marketing. They're setting up all their systems and processes. So when they get home, the phone's going to start ringing next week. They're right? bandit signs. Yeah, they're bandit signs and everything. I don't know if you can see. Everything. You can see a, a few people out there working, but those are our partner, our partners, right? So, yeah, there you have it. What happened to my agenda? There it is. There it is. Why so, is it so small today? I don't know. So share, 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 <laughs> as Manny would say. Share, share, share. Right? So hey, give Dave. us a shout out. Hey, Mama. Look, look, Teresa's there. Dave Lee's there from St. Louis. What's happening? Guess what today is? Today is a very special day. Hump day. <laughs> to, today is Candace's birthday. Give Candace a big shout out. Happy birthday, Candace. I made it another year. <laughs> Uno mas. One more. <coughs> One right? more. Look, there's my daughter. Hey, Linda. How are you? And Candace. <laughs> yep, today is uh, Candace's birthday. She's 37 and holding. That's right. <laughs> now, I don't want to hold. Angel was saying, Angel said something about it this morning, and um, I forget how he said it. I was like, well, the only alternative is to you know, not have any more birthdays. And I don't want that to be. So I'll take That's each true. year. I'll, I'll take them. That is true. Mm -hmm. So it's good. It's good. So we've been very busy. So uh, please share this well, video, I don't guys. I really use the word busy. I think that we've been very um, productive. Exactly. I would say was the word it I is was tiring. About. It is tiring. But there's a difference between busy and productive. Uh -huh. And I really feel like since we have uh, honed in on the focus of what we wanted to do with the real estate side uh, and with the education side, that um, we've been a lot more productive with our time. I think we have. Not as much, not, I mean, looking back, it seems like we used to be just busy. But yeah, but we have been very productive. But I haven't, I haven't <clears> been <throat> able to get on the phone this week, Monday, Tuesday, or today. And you guys have been setting about 10 leads a day for That's me. That's right. The call, so we have been busy. We've got um, and the phone's ringing off the hook, it's ringing. Mike, now. Mike is new with us. He's uh, he is about four days old, five days old, something. No, he's about five days old now. And then Marty five is five days old with, yeah, us. <laughs> with us, yeah. And he then, already has uh, two deals though. He does. Marty submitted two leads yesterday before she left. She was here late getting those in. So I feel like we're getting some really good traction with the new people we've got on the team, and um, another. Another mailer will drop tomorrow. There you so go. all over again. That's true. We mail out about 25,000 pieces a month. That's right. So we have a lot of direct mail going out. So the, we'll get to that in a second too on how to make sure um, that you're getting your, your money's worth out of the mailers or out of whatever type of marketing you're doing with the power of follow-up. But you guys, if you don't have an investor's kit, make sure you reach out. Give 877-LARRY-GO a call. Uh, Z will pick that phone up and get you the investor's kit. Um, <clears throat> it's got the real estate day trading book, digital version, the HUD, Homes Half Off digital version, some training webinars and links and things like that in there. Um, it'll get you up and started. It's definitely a good way to start crawling toward um, your real estate investing if that's what you want to do. If you're ready to run already, you know that you want to work with somebody to get you to the next level, then you guys go ahead and go to larrygoins.com forward slash apply. The guys will get you set up there and well on your way to being in the office here. Yeah, you could apply to work with us and uh, you come in here, spend a few days and we get your, your business set up and uh, running and make the phone start ringing. So when you get home, you start taking calls and then I help you with those, uh, help you through every every bit of the process, right? That's right. So, uh, Not doing it for you, here to help you and advise along the way. With you, with right. you. I don't throw difference. you in the pool. I get down in the water with you and help you learn how to swim. 
<laughs> That's what Ron says, right? It is what he says. Yeah. So we also <laughs> need to talk about our uh, our last week's Shire winner. Share winner. Who was last week's share winner? I can't read this over here. I'm going to have to look, look up look the over screen there. over here. I'm going to have to. Valley of the Sun Venture Properties shared Valley our video. Of the Sun. Shared our video last week. And guys, it's a great way to promote your business too because if you share, people see it on your profile and then they know you're in real estate and that's sort education. Of thing. So you're sharing education. Exactly. Exactly. So uh Valley of the Sun. Uh call Candace or uh send Don't her, call me. No, send, email. <laughs> send an email. I'm sorry. Let me let Candace tell you what to do. <laughs> Send it. Don't call me. That sounded mean. <laughs> Don't call me. Don't call me, please. <laughs> that sounded so mean. I'm sorry, <laughs> but don't. Don't call me. Um, send an email in to customer service at LarryGoins.com. Customer service at LarryGoins.com. Let me know that you are the share winner, and I'll get you set up um, and get that real estate day trading course sent out to you. That's awesome. That's awesome. Linda <laughs> says happy birthday. She loves you. I saw you. it. Thank you. Love you. And. Uh, Tammy Payton says, hello, all. Hello. What's up? How you doing? So, Thank uh, you. Who is that? What? Baydon Manuel. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Enjoy this day, Candace. Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk about the deal of the week. Manny, uh, what are you doing? Why, why are you? What he's are sharing you our properties to people. Is it our property or it is it is his our property? property? It's our property. All right. Okay, he's you're telling fine. people to buy our property. <laughs> he said, don't let this one go by. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Manny. I was like, what is he doing? So, so Manny, we can already promote it to our people. <laughs> Why don't you promote it to your people? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Man. He's going to share the video, though. He'll share the video like, like eight, he does every eight, week. 18 times. Yes, like that's he does awesome. every week. And then, then his people will see it. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. We love picking on you. You do make it easy. Uh, he does make it easy. <laughs> Courtney's, Courtney's there too. Don't tell us to simmer down. You can't tell me to simmer, simmer down. Simmer down, simmer down. On my birthday. Yeah. Courtney, it's her birthday today. If you're just joining us. I didn't get a text from you. Right. What happened? I know. You What's leave up? and you forget all about me. What up with that? So I wanted to talk about the deal of the week. Now you guys know, <laughs> you guys know that I haven't even been able to work on any deals yet. And usually when we do a deal of the week, it's a deal <laughs> in the last couple of days. Right? So the deal of the week this week is a deal that I passed on. Ooh, right? interesting. It's now, and the reason that I that I selected this, I had my is own number deal one because I hadn't bought a house yet this week. Can I do? <laughs> can I do? Um, one, we did buy a house. We bought a house on Saturday. Oh, I forgot about that. So, so you do your did. deal. I'll do my deal of the week. Then, okay, so let me forgot do, about mine. Let me do mine first. So, <laughs> um, this was a deal that I was buying mm. for like six thousand dollars, I believe it was. And uh, brick house, and I knew, and I knew, it. it I knew it had a, a tree that fell on it, and a couple of the limbs went through the roof. I knew that. Let me tell you, when he's on the phone with this seller, this is this is how Larry negotiates. So he's talking about the tree. And, now, exactly how big <laughs> is the hole that the tree made in the house? And I get every question he's asking about this tree. I'm like, all right, we're going down 2,000. There's another two. <laughs> oh, that one's four. <laughs> Hit the power box. She's out, she told me after I got off the phone, she's out there talking to him saying, the price is going to be 16. Nope. Now it's going to be 12. Nope. Now no, it's going to be eight. Now, I'm now eight. it's going to be six. We play a game. Yeah, we play a game with the negotiation with the way we can hear him on the phone. Mike, with Mike being new, I was like, watch this. <laughs> so, that's the game that we played. She nailed it, though, didn't you? I did. She did. But even still, Angel went out to look at the house, mm -hmm. and not only had the tree fallen through the roof about a year ago, <laughs> right? Sometimes they leave stuff out. There was dead animals in the house. <laughs> the ceilings had fallen in. There was, and I told Angel, Angel showed me the pictures. I'm like, man, does that gas grill work over there? Why didn't you bring that back <laughs> with you? <laughs> He's not going to need it. it was Nobody's going to go get it. It was one of those Coleman camping gas grills. Fold out. I'm like, that thing looks like it's in good shape. Let me it tell was you, the best looking thing in the house. He is not above taking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Only if we buy it. Right here. Only if, if we, we buy, buy it. it yeah, if we buy it, he is not above taking stuff out of the house. That's right. I can't say anything because I claim stuff too. I also sent we my daughter out. and her boyfriend out to get stuff to sell it. 
right? Yeah. <laughs> they sell stuff. Sometimes sure. they keep it. <laughs> sometimes I keep stuff. Sometimes, sometimes Pam keeps stuff. Mama gets stuff. <laughs> right. So, sometimes they your mom gets stuff. <laughs> All right. Are there any cars over there? <laughs> we we have a lot of fun with uh, with our properties. So yeah, that. So what ultimately happened with that deal when you got what well, ultimately back? happened to it? I, you know, I need to call the guy back, but this is one where I need to tell the guy he's going to have to pay me to take it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you want rid of this house, you give me a thousand dollars and I'll take it off. Because we got it. I mean, we, somebody's gonna have to demolish it. We're not gonna have to demolish it. I don't think that will happen. I've to, had people pay me as much as three or four or five thousand dollars to buy to take house. it. Yeah. I mean, when you look at what you've got to do to clear the land and everything like that, I mean, it's what it's gonna take. Right. Um, and you can't go in the hole doing that, hoping to get a profit on the back end. That's true. Wholesale is all about um, making your money on the buy, right? Right. So <clears throat> I've heard that. So, before. so now tell them about your deal. My you deal. Have, you My deal of the week. Sunday. You actually did. did a Sunday. I did. So I've been working with this seller since October of last year. And sometimes that's what it takes, you know, just a touch here and there. They, they say they're going to commit. They don't commit. Then you negotiate with them. So we started working with her in October of last year. What? That long ago? Yeah. You finally um, talked to her at the, um, you finally got her like committed to talk to us in January and December. We talked to her in December. She was going on vacation. It was a bird dog lead. A bird dog lead. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> you talk to her in December, January, we get like a deal, right? Right. And then um, can't get the contract back. Can't get it back. Can't get it back. Can't get it back. Finally, I, I caught it because what happens is when Larry makes the negotiations, he we finalize the price on the buy. It goes to closing. And Lorraine gets the contract ready and starts doing that. So the acquisition manager typically at that point is out and it moves to closing and to sale for Daniel. But we couldn't get the con the signed contract back on this property. So I was like, all right, I'm going to call her. So I started calling her. Um, couldn't get her on the phone. Uh, we had an appointment for Angel to go out. She stood him up going out to uh, to look at the property to get the pictures. So I text her. Um, she wouldn't answer my phone, so I text her. I call, so I text her. She started texting back. And that's how I was able to arrange. Uh, I told her I would come out because she had been working with me for a while. So I told her that I would come out. Don't worry about Angel. Um, that I would come out. I would get the contract. I need to get into the property. So it started the process. And um, from I went out on Sunday. I got the contract signed. I got the pictures. I ended up showing it to a potential buyer. Sunday afternoon, like Sunday evening. Then Daniel's out today and has a contract on it. So it's gone. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yep. Are you serious? Yeah. That's a fifteen thousand dollar deal. Nineteen. Nineteen? Awesome. <laughs> I love it. That's great. That's good. So he already got a contract on it. He's out. He was showing it to um I showed it Sunday afternoon. He had some buyers that couldn't get out till today. So my buyer passed and he's out there with his and they want it. That's awesome. That is awesome. See, I didn't even know. <laughs> You've been a little busy. That's great. I love it. Kenny Thank Culver you, Kenny. says happy birthday. That's great. So um, I want to show this comment right here. Um, Dave Lee said he bought a list and he wants to know how to uh, how to append that list to uh, to cold call it. All append means is send your list to a direct send your direct mail list to a service to get the phone numbers, right? And uh, and and a company that we use is called needtoskip.com. Need to, T-O, skip, S-K-I-P, dot com, right? And they will append that list for you, right? So, Dave, I hope that helps. And also, how do you create a custom audience? Um, you upload your list to Facebook and create a custom audience through Facebook. That's right? what we it's, do. It's pretty simple. Right. And all that means is you're sending your only your ad will only show to the people who you uploaded the list. It'll match up a Facebook profile with your list. That's it. That's all that means. Right. Good. So did I cut you off on your story or was that it? No, I was done. Good. I just want to make sure. All right. So what I wanted to talk about today on the show is the power of follow up. OK, the power of follow up. Um, and you know your deal of the week is a prime example of that. You got to stay on. That it. was 
I mean, we started working with her in October. We finally got a contract in, in this past Sunday. Well, we right? got the, we got the contract. We settled. got her to agree. Yeah. Well, we got her to agree in January and then I finally got her to sign. And sometimes that's what it takes. Now, typically I don't go out, you know, we, we have, <laughs> we have minions for that <laughs> to go out. Don't call them that. They know they're the, that's not, that's what they are. <laughs> I'm not telling, it's an endearing term, right? But they know that's what they are. They don't look like they like it right now. They don't even hear us. Okay. So anyway, they, um, we, we have people for that. And there they are. There Are all three of them in there? Uh, you can only see Mike, and Mike Marty. and Marty. Angel's not showing up. Anyway, so they, you know, acquisition managers go out and they get their, um, contracts on they put out signs they take the pictures they do all that stuff now i am the acquisition manager on this property right but i don't typically go out to to do those things we have people but we have people for that <laughs> minions apparently <laughs> right? lovingly that's good so yes um but I, I did go out and sometimes that's what it takes um you've had to go out to a few that wanted to look you in the eye, you know, to sign a contract. And sometimes that is what it takes. And uh, ultimately um, with where we're investing right now, that is a good thing that we're in the counties that we're in. So we had that option to do it, but there'll come a time when we're back investing. We've got some deals right now. Some leads came to you from Alabama. We won't be able to do that with that guy. So <clears throat> right. yeah, can't always happen like that, but follow up if I hadn't kept checking on her and kept checking on her and kept checking on her, we could have lost that deal. And that's a $19,000 spread. So it's already been sold. Yeah. I mean, today's Wednesday, you got it on Sunday, Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, we sold it in three days. Right. So we could close anytime in the next two weeks. Cause she'll have title, all her stuff. We're waiting out. on title work. Wow. Title work's going to hold us up. Can you believe that? That's awesome. That's great. That's good. That's, that's awesome. So, uh, I want to talk about follow up. <laughs> Uh, let's talk first about follow up <clears throat> on, on prospects. Okay. Um, like this, this, when we get someone to accept a contract, there's basically four to five different ways you can do it. Okay. You can go meet them in person. Okay. Meet them in person and you could mail them a contract with a return envelope. You could send it to them digitally like DocuSign or whatever, have them digitally sign it. You can email it to them, have them print it, and then and then scan it and email it back. Or you can send a mobile notary. That's five different ways. I'm right? going to tell you that the mobile notary is well worth the money. Because Seventy-five bucks. I, 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 and I, I would not ever want us to do anything unless it's one of us going out to get the contract signed as an acquisition manager. I would not ever want to mail them again scan them again, email them again, none of that mess because it leaves too much room for them to backtrack, right? For them to not sign. If you've got a body there in person, it's a lot harder to get rid of and for them to say no to than when you email it and it can get hung up in cyberspace or whatever other excuse they want to try to give you. That's exactly right. And, and besides, you don't want to give them enough time to let me talk to my daughter let me talk to my son my grandparents my aunt and uncle let me call a realtor friend right you don't want to deal with any of that that's what happened on her deal of the week right, right? she said just something was going on either she was out of town or something i can't remember the details but for some reason i mailed it to her and it never came back that's right i lost another deal last week that um that i mailed it to the lady and and by the time she got to it, her husband threw it away and already sold one of the two houses I was buying. Right. So, so you know, whatever you need to do, get it to them as soon as possible. DocuSign or right signature or mobile notary. We use NSS notary for that. Mm -hmm. NSS notary.com. They're great to work with yeah, too. They are for 75 bucks. They'll go out and get your stuff signed for another. Uh, it's 125 total. If you want them to sign it, and take pictures right right of the house that's right right and somebody was asking a question a second ago what company we use for live answer uh if when we have a company live answer we use pat live right okay uh but typically our guys are answered nine to five mm -hmm. and and after that it goes to a voicemail and, and if we we're, have a live answer it's pat live 
Right. And we were mainly, we were using Pat Live <clears throat> before when it was like two of us out here. Right. And we couldn't keep up with the volume. Um, now, and, and we've dialed in our mailer and we've added more staff. So we've got, we're on a 12 to 24 hour turn for callbacks for anybody that leaves a message. Um, if they leave it outside of business hours, right? If they leave it during visit, if they, if they call and they can't get one of the four of us that are on the round, Robin, on the phone, then it's immediately that they get a call back. As soon as somebody's off that, I mean, that I'm working, I'm managing the leads as they come in. So they automatically get assigned if somebody doesn't answer it live. Right. So they're called back within an hour if we're here in the office. If, but if it's after hours, then we're working on a 12, probably a 12 to 14 hour turn instead yeah. of 12 to 24 so as soon as we come back in. So and we're ready to start ramping it up to in the next are. 90 days. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I was, we were going to talk about that um, probably tomorrow or Friday, but yep. Yeah, I think that we're on track to be able to do that sooner rather than later. Yeah, I think so too. Let me answer Charles's question uh, before we get back to uh, follow up is uh, do, you, do you have to be a, a member of our partner program to submit deals to us before you submit them an offer to the seller? And the short answer is yes. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to, to, to be able to do that for everybody, Charles. I'm really sorry, but uh, with our partners, you know, um, they take priority. They, they do take priority. And, you know, and we're working with them on a one on one basis. We're partnering on deals with them. Our part goes to charity, you know, and, and they, they invested money and time to come here to the office and, and work with us and be able to partner with us and get their business set up and get right. the phone ringing off the hook. And uh, so not only have have I looked at their deals, but I'll actually get on the phone with the seller. Now, it's not a it's not a regular thing. I get on the phone with all their sellers, but if I need to, I will get on the phone with them and uh, with their seller and help them. And I also have them record all their calls I was through the ready system to that, that we do that. <clears throat> so if they don't get a deal in the first few weeks, then they need to send me their calls so I can critique it. Yep. Right. And know what's going on. Yep. Plus they also calls. have my calls that they can listen to in advance and hear what I say on the phone and what Candace says and stuff like that. Yeah, they have setter calls, which is more or less what an acquisition person um, would do as a set, yes, a set close type call structure that we work out here right now with Junior Hammers. So there are examples of set calls that partners have access to and there's um, access to close calls too. Right. And, and even some two call closes, follow up closes. Yeah. Now, if uh, with the follow up, if I don't get a contract in like two or three weeks or whatever, if a person, if, if we just cannot get to an agreement, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a, uh, in a follow up sequence. Now, there's three different ways you could do this email, text, and RVM, ringless voicemail. Email, text, and RVM. For email, we use MailChimp, okay? For text, we use something like uh, Textcom. RVM, uh, voice shout, something like that, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Good. What? Not an angel. Angel was. Acting. Was he behind us waving? He's over there. Yeah, he was acting a fool. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> being uh, an angel. <laughs> he's being an angel. So not being an angel, but being. Not angel. being an an angel and angel are very different things. <laughs> no, right. That's funny, but he's a good kid. He's a good kid. He's all right. He called me last night. He called me last night at seven o'clock. He was out of the house. He was out of the house. Him and Mike him. were both there. Yep. That yep. was Mike's lead. Yep. yep. He's getting so he used was, to running. He was training. He was training Mike. But anyway, you need to follow up with these people. If you don't get a deal, and and if they say, "Well, I'm just not going to sell it right now," or "I'm going to try to sell it myself," or "I can't take that," or "I'm going to do something else," or "I don't have to sell it," you put them up in a follow up sequence. And put them up. Put them in a follow up <laughs> sequence. Right in our system, it's Podio, and once a month, you need to RVM them ringless voicemail, right? Voice shout, some other services are out there. You can just Google RVM or ringless voicemail, and you also need to text them every month, and you also need to send them an e email every month. So, every, every time you get a seller lead, you want to ask them what's your email address, what's your cell phone number. You know, can you get text on your cell phone? So you make sure that you're able to follow up with these people, right? As much as you can. 
Now, some of our sellers, depends on the counties that you're mailing to, the areas that you're mailing to, a lot of our sellers don't do do not do email, right? So us being able to email them anything is automatically out of the question. Um, some of them do text, but it's very rare. So the ringless voicemail to them is typically the best option that we've, that we've kind of discovered just based on how they use technology. But um, depending on your market, depending on your avatar, right, the, the demographic of the person that you're marketing to, you may find something different. But all three of them are really good ways to keep in touch. There you go. That's it. So if you if you would like to partner with us, please go to LarryGoins.com forward slash apply, right? And please share the video. We would, we would greatly appreciate that for a real estate day trading and jump start, right? <laughs> We will mail it to you, right? If you win it, we will mail it to you. And it's not like we're getting hundreds of shares, so your chance of winning are five to ten percent, right? <laughs> Maybe you know. Yes, Manny, we're aware there's a party in the background. It's our partners back there. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they are not as on task as we need them to be setting up their business right now. So we'll have to uh, get them straightened out here in a second. Yeah, we will. We will. <laughs> So, guys, we really, really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. I hope you got out of this. Tammy, can anyone come to your workshop on the 20th? Yes. It's the 21st. It's 22nd the 21st? and 23rd. Yes. February 21, 22, and 23 um, in the Charlotte area. That's a three-day. Now, that is an education event. This is an implementation or application event. But the event that you're talking about, February 21, 22, 23, that is education. You can go to LarryGolensLive.com and register for that event, or you can call the office. Um, which number did you give them? 888-212-6567. Was that correct? That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And um, <clears throat> and get registered. One of the guys can help you get registered, just depending on how you're most comfortable putting the order in. It's a $97. Well, will be there. Perfect. She's it's, asking for a friend. Tammy, you have a friend? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, glad, I'm actually glad you brought it up because I forgot all about it. And I know that we have about four weeks left before that event, and we're about half full now. I cap our events at 100 people to make sure we've got enough in the room to network with, with people. But I like to keep it small enough to where everybody feels like they're able to get their questions answered and they're not being a sheep herded around. Uh, right. I, I don't like that feeling. So. Um, 100 people. I know we're about half full. We got about four weeks left. LarryGoinsLive.com, $97 seat registration, but you can get that back when uh, after the event once you attend. Awesome. Or you can get the slides and I keep it. But. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. I guess she's my friend. <laughs> <It's her sister. laughs> she kind of has to be, right? <laughs> That's funny. I love it. So, uh, Manny, thank you very much. I really appreciate your kind words and thank you guys so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. We hope we're able to help you, give you some good tips. And uh, if you like what what you're uh, what you're seeing, what you're watching, please share, <laughs> share, share, share. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. We appreciate it. Bye. See you later. <laughs>